What's going on guys, Nick Boy here from BoyGolfAcademy.com. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the takeaway. I'm gonna show you some common faults that you might be making in the backswing during the takeaway that could be setting your swing up for trouble. This could be why you are causing yourself to have a dreaded hook, or maybe you're leaving the club face way open at impact, causing this nasty slice. So a lot of it can be tied to your takeaway. The takeaway gets that club ready and gets it in position during the backswing. So you wanna have a good takeaway in order to get yourself in the right spot when you get to the top of your backswing and you start that downswing transition. So we're gonna go ahead and start off by analyzing the club base when we take it away from the golf ball. And then we're gonna get into a few other topics and tips that you should be analyzing as well tied to your takeaway. All right, so the first thing we wanna do with our takeaway is we wanna see where the club face is when we start to get the club shaft parallel to our, our foot line and our target line. So when I take the club back, and we get about right here in the backswing. So right now, this club shaft here is directly parallel over the top of my foot line, as well as my target line that's pointing out towards the target. So at this point, we wanna see where that club face is. If that club face is turned open, that's gonna to lead to a slice. If that club face is severely shut, that could lead to a dreaded hook. So we want that club face to be pretty much level to the plane that we're swinging on here. We want that club face line, if we were to draw a line, to be kind of up and down there so it's level. And as we take that club back to the top of the swing, it puts it in a good position so that when we start the downswing, we can have that club face in a good position to hit the ball square and not be too shut and not be too open. So the first thing when you're taking your club back, try to pause right around where the, the club shaft gets parallel. Just take a look at where that club head is. Ideally, that club head is gonna be blocking the shaft. So if you were taking a video of yourself right now, that club head should be in the way of your club shaft. If you're way too open, then you're gonna see the club shaft. If you're way too shut, then you're gonna see the club shaft. So you want ideally that club shaft to be right in line with the club head so that the club head is blocking the shaft when you're looking at the swing from behind, if you were taking a video of yourself from behind. All right, so the next aspect you wanna look at is how far we're taking the club to the inside. Are we taking the club too much straight up? So a lot of golfers think that the golf swing is just about taking that golf club straight up. But really what we're trying to do is we're trying to swing on a plane. So when we take that club back, we want it to be on the same plane as kind of what that, the, the line or the, if we were to draw a line at setup, we want that club at that angle to stay on that same line, that same angle throughout the swing. So we call this the swing plane. So as we're taking that club away and we get to the back swing, you're gonna notice how it stays kind of on a circular plane around our body. We're not just taking it straight up into the air. This is gonna cause you know, you to come over the top to compensate. That's gonna cause a big slice. Or you know, you're gonna to have to really figure out how to get back inside on the downswing. And that could cause you know, all kinds of problems in the golf swing. So what we wanna do is we wanna just kinda of take this club away. And we wanna get it to the point where the butt of the club kind of stays on our hip until we get you know, back to that parallel position. And then it can start to disconnect and it'll start pointing out towards the outside. So as we're starting to take this, the backswing away, we wanna imagine that the butt of this club is still kind of holding on our hip line here. And then as we get to this point, you know, now it starts to disconnect and point away from us, away from our hip region. So if you're taking it away too quickly, that breaks, you know, that, that butt of the club breaks away from pointing at your hips and it starts pointing out away from the hips too fast. If you don't take it away enough, or if we take it straight up, you can see the butt of the club's pointing behind us and it's not pointing at our hips. So how you wanna think about it is you wanna connect your arms to the butt of the club and you wanna imagine there's like a line extending out from it. And so as we're doing the takeaway, we wanna make sure the butt of that club is still pointing kind of at our belt buckle here until we get about to this point where the club shaft is parallel with the ground. And then at that point, it's gonna be pointing at our out inside hip here. And then as we start to move up to our backswing, that's when it's gonna start to finally break off our body. All right, so one drill you can do is you can buy an alignment stick and you can set it into the ground. So in this case, I'm on a, on a mat here, so it's not gonna stick. But if you're on a driving range, we could stick an alignment stick into the ground and we wanna angle it at about the angle that we have our club shaft set up during our, our golf swing setup. So in this case, we stick the alignment stick into the ground here. And what this is gonna force you to do it's gonna force you to take the club away underneath the alignment stick so that you can stay on the correct plane. 
if we were to start picking our club up too fast into the air, we're gonna bump into this club. So it kind of acts as like a guardrail to make sure we stay underneath it so that we keep our, our swing on plane and we don't pick the club up too fast vertically into the air. Now, if you're having trouble where you're coming in too much from the inside, so if we come in from the inside too much on the golf swing, well, then we can just move this alignment stick back here to the inside of the ball. And now this forces us when we take our club away to make sure we're staying outside of, of this alignment rod so that we're not you know, bringing the club in too much to where it's gonna collide with that alignment stick. So in this case, we take the club back, bring it to the top of the swing. And then when we start to bring that swing back down, you know, it gets us back on the right plane coming into the ball so that we're not coming too much to the inside where we would collide with this alignment stick. All right, so that would be one simple drill. You could set an alignment stick outside your ball if you are someone who picks the club up too high too quick. And if you're someone who takes the club away to the inside too fast, well then you could set this on the inside a little bit and that forces you to keep your club more uh, on a steeper plane so you're not coming in so much to the inside, creating a really shallow swing plane. All right, so let's go ahead and just hit a test shot here where we're gonna be working on getting that swing on the right plane so it can come back to the ball on the right plane as well. We're not trying to take the club away too steep. We're not trying to take the club away too far to the inside. Again, we want our arms, our body, our, our club to all stay connected. So as we turn back, you know, this club shaft is still pointing towards our belt buckle and then we can get it up into the correct backswing position. And you can see that one started out dead straight, slight draw right down the middle. All right, let's go ahead and do an example shot of someone who takes the club too steep up into the air too quickly. This is gonna lead you to come back down at too steep of an angle, causing you probably to come over the top to compensate. So it's gonna start the ball to the left and then it's gonna have that nasty slice spin on the golf ball. All right, so you can see that one started out into the left side a little bit, then it sliced back to the right. Now, this is only a nine iron, so the effects aren't gonna be as drastic as if you were hitting a driver. If I was hitting a driver, that would have had a much harder cut to the right, but the nine iron being a high lofted club helps keep that golf ball a lot straighter. And so that was kind of, you know, an example of how it cut, but it didn't cut as much as it would have if you would have been hitting a driver. All right, and the other example is someone who takes the golf club way too far in too quickly, and they get on this real low, real shallow swing where it's way too much around their body. And this forces you to come back, you know, too much inside the ball to where you're gonna have to really swing out to the right. And it's gonna end up leading to kind of a, a duck hook, a snap hook, because your arms are trying to catch up with your body because they got too far behind the body, too much to the inside. So I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate how that's gonna result in the opposite, which would be a nasty hook. All right, so take these tips with you to the range the next time you're practicing. Start off with your takeaway, trying to get that club shaft parallel to the ground and have that club cover up the shaft if you're looking at it from behind with a camera from behind so that you can't see the shaft. So the club head should be pretty much in a straight line. Uh, if it's too much shut or too much open, that's not a good start on the takeaway. Also work on the takeaway path. So not taking the club too straight back up into the sky too quickly and not taking it too much to the inside. Uh, those are gonna lead to the slice that I showed you as well as the hook when you're wrapping the club too much around your body and you're, you're duck hooking it. So try to keep that club so it's more to where the butt of the club is pointing at your belt longer throughout the takeaway and then it'll start to disconnect once you get past the point where the club shaft's parallel to the ground. And then lastly, we talked about kind of on the downswing, trying to bring that club back down on the same plane that you took it away on. And so this is gonna take some practice, but what you can do is shorten up your backswing to start and just work on doing some smaller backswings uh, to get the feel of, of the tempo of taking it away and bringing it back on that same plane. So people who take it away too steep and then they have to adjust in the backswing and they have to end up bringing it to the inside. So they're on two different planes throughout the swing. Instead, you want your body, your arms, everything to be connected so that you can take it away in one piece, what we call a one piece takeaway. You can stay on plane throughout the entire backswing and on the downswing, you come back down on that same swing plane. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed today's video, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. Share this channel with a friend who plays golf. Let's get more people into the game, learning how to play golf 
and it'll be more fun for you and your friends if you guys can go out and play better rounds of golf after implementing these different tips in these videos. So I appreciate you being here, giving me some time to watch today's tips and lessons. You can find more about our training programs, our drills, our different practice plans that we have available for golfers to utilize at foygolfacademy.com, which will be linked below in this YouTube video.